ഹലോ ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് വെൽക്കം ടു ഇംഗ്ലീഷ് ഷോർട്ട് ടൈം ക്ലാസ് റെഡി വൺ ടു ത്രീ സ്റ്റാർട്ട് ഇൻ അതർ വേൾഡ്സ് ഹിന്ദുത്വ മാനേജ്ഡ് ടു ന്യൂട്രലൈസ് ദി എസ്റ്റാബ്ലിഷ്ഡ് മണ്ടൽ ഫോഴ്സസ് ബൈ എക്സ്പ്ലോയിറ്റിംഗ് ദി കോൺട്രാഡിക്ഷൻസ് വിദിൻ ദി മൂവ്മെൻറ്റ് ഫോർ ദി മണ്ടൽ ഫോഴ്സസ് ടു സ്റ്റേ റിലവൻറ്റ് ദ മസ്റ്റ് റിട്ടേൺ ദി ഫേവർ there are certainly enough contradictions in the hindutva process of co-option of backward castes we can discuss two such contradictions that can provide both the basis for attack on hindutva as well as the sources for renewal of the mandal movement one while hindutva is adept at furnishing symbolic resources to these castes it can be an ambiguous ally in terms of helping them with their struggle for material resources as madri narayan has demonstrated hindutva has woven a tapestry of myths tailored to each backward caste these sagas of grit and glory often against mythic islamic aggressors are designed to bolster the social esteem and sense of dignity of individual backward castes for example the rajpar caste is sort to be mobilized by recounting the valor of raja suheldev in rebuffing a muslim advance in the 12th century as the prime minister reminded his audience in varanasi it when the rajpar caste asks the bjp about its promise of implementing sub categorization in reservation it is met with vague prejudices and bureaucratic stone walling after all hindutva is an assimilationist project ready not just of unleashing the forces of competitive caste assertion for material resources but also of any excessive emphasis on distinctive micro identities the next frontier this contradiction has already been pounced upon by mandal parties which have attempted to make caste census and the expansion of the reservation umbrella the next frontier of mandal politics the mandal parties need to reposition themselves as the most effective vehicle for the common struggle of backward castes for material advancement though the route is through agitations not petitions to the hindutva movement has not quite lost its upper caste bearings the leadership of the sangha parivar continues to be overly weighted towards upper castes in up the yadavs have been replaced in large part by the emboldened takurs as the current source of resentment among backward castes hindutva can only paper over these resentments not eliminate them that the predilections of upper castes continue to inform government policy can be gagged by the central government's willingness to breach the 50% reservation cape only to accommodate the economically backward upper castes the mandal parties can 
exploit these contradictions by rediscovering the original ideological campaign against upper caste domination. SP leader Akhilesh Yadav has shown signs of this reorientation promising a revolution of backward castes in 2022 and stating that only the ideologies of Lohia and Ambedkar can fulfill the dream of India and our ancestors. Again, ideological renewal is a long-term project and takes more than election speeches. It involves cultivating symbolic resources which can underpin solidarity and a shared consciousness among backward communities. It also requires a cadre-based organization led by backward castes that can take the party's ideological messaging to the ground. At present, the SP with a party machinery singularly geared for fighting elections and acquiring power is ill-suited to carry forward these ideological endeavors.